a working farm that supports the agricultural mission of South Carolina, and young people can do it while they're in high school. The South Carolina Governor's School for Agriculture at John De La Howe is here to tell us more about their mission and what they're doing. We have Dr. Timothy Cowan, Scotland McCullough, and Michael Murphy. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, Dr. Tim, let's start with you. Uh, a school for agriculture right here in, in South Carolina, and this is a really cool program for 10th through 12th graders? Correct, 10th through 12th. So we are the nation's only residential high school that's devoted to agricultural education. We offer several pathways, agriculture mechanics, horticulture, environmental and natural resources, and plant and animal systems. And so the location is John Dela Howe? It's the John Dela Howe campus, which is northern yeah. McCormick County, right. uh, near the Abbeville County line. 1,300 acres, over 1,300 acres for <clears throat> these young people to really learn, because South Carolina has such a rich agricultural history. It's so cool to, to be able to get kids at that age interested in agriculture because everybody wants yeah. to be a TikToker and Instagram and all that stuff, but if agriculture doesn't continue in, the, in this state and in this country, then you know, what do we have, right? Well, Scotland and Michael, what have y'all had hands-on experience doing? Yes, sir. I am the coordinator for admissions and enrollment at the oh, Governor's yeah. School for Agriculture, Ag Agriculture, excuse me. And yes. I'm actually Mr. Cowan's assistant in our work in marketing. Awesome. You gotta get some dirty fingernails going. <laughs> oh, we got to. I'm sure that's <laughs> so what does a day look like for one of these students going through some of these programs? And are all these kids, do they express an interest early on in wanting to be involved in agriculture? Or is it something that you can kind of test out? How does that, that process work? Yes, the majority of our students, when they apply to come to our school, they're already interested in the field of agriculture, forestry, and natural resources. I, I think they came from farmland. Yeah, Grew the up majority. We do have some from downtown Greenville who I always say they're just born in Aggie. They might be a generation or two uh, removed from the farm, but they are right at home at our Well, you know, across house. the river is the South Carolina Governor's School. And it's, it's all kind of tied in. For arts and humanities. Yeah. Correct. Great, yeah. too. They are great friends of ours. As a matter of fact, they're visiting their campus after today's right. show. Yeah. And so let's talk about the admissions process. We've got a lot of folks that may be watching this and they have some young folks that may be interested in going into agriculture or forestry or something like that. What is the, the first <coughs> step? Uh, can they come and take a tour? Yes, sir, you sure can. You would go to our website at johndelahow.gov, um, and then from that website, you'll go to the admissions um, tab and content. then hit apply now. And then also, that's, you're going to form an inquiry, and then that inquiry, we can set you up a tour to view awesome. our campus. How many are enrolled now? Yeah. We currently have 78 students, but we're only in our third year. So really? uh, we, we battled through COVID the first two years and uh, just wrapped up our third year, and so we're on pace to have around 95 students this fall. Jamarcus and I come before we visit the pasture lands. I know you have cattle. Will you check for meadow muffins? Absolutely. <laughs> no meadow muffins. <laughs> and is it, it's residential, and like they, they stay there, professors, teachers, like uh, talk to folks that are maybe having some questions about like what it looks like. Does it look exactly identical to like a normal school curriculum? Or? Um, not exactly. One neat thing about our school is that all of our curriculum is hands-on learning. So all of our core classes are actually taught at the honors level, which okay. is kind of wow. unique to a, a normal from a normal high school. Yeah. Um, one thing that I absolutely love about our school is that our students can actually bring a livestock animal on campus with them as long as it has an agricultural purpose. Wow, so oh, forget yeah. that little baby thing they made you have in high yes. school where you had to keep yes. the dogs alive. Dogs and cats can stay at the house. But bring your own livestock, I love yes, that. Yes, that's awesome. Dogs, goats, horses, <laughs> and do they actually climb ladders and pick for pecans? I mean, your plants are close there. <laughs> We of do course, have pecans. Yeah. We have a whole yeah. pecan orchard, sure. I was asking, I was like, is there an adult component to this? Because I would want to go to yeah. Yeah. Like we do continuing offer, education. We do have adult workshops. Uh, we do about two a month. Uh, they're usually held in the evening, so it's continuing Two a education. month? We need sure. to sign up. Yeah. Sure. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the cost? Do you want to mention that? The cost? Uh, tuition free. So it's a public high school. Wow. Just like the rest of Sorry, the I governor's school system. Maybe it's good. Uh, no, yeah. it's, it's very good year the, There is a meal plan. Our meal plan is $2,680 per year. Wow. And mm -hmm. if you're on free and reduced lunch at your home school, then you'll be free and reduced lunch. That's at incredible. What a, such an incredible way because, like I said, a lot of those uh, kids that are interested in going to agriculture or trades, a lot of times mm -hmm. they get kind of missed out if there's yep. not you know, a program for them. So this is a great way to do a tuition free, uh, you know, free lunch if you already mm -hmm. get free lunch. So definitely sign up for one of those tours. Do you guys do tours daily? There's yeah. a special time for folks to, to sign up for that. Yes, sir, we do tours daily, Monday through Sunday. And awesome. what's the website? Delahow.sc.gov. There it is, yeah. right there on your screen. So definitely right. go and check that out, delahow.sc.gov. 
www.gov. We'll be sure to put it at our website, yourcarolina.tv. My question is, when they grow stuff, does the dining hall use the food? Yes. We, do. Yeah. we do. We do. Absolutely. That's the, that's the one thing I'm curious about. We the actually do. Yeah. Yep. That's awesome. We consume our own beef, our own pork, and produce. Look at that. At South Carolina <laughs> agriculture at its best for the next generation. Well, Thank I'm you guys so much. I'm real pleased y'all came. I'm real proud of yeah. what you Yeah. Thank you. Great Thank job. You. Yeah.